My name is Pat Callahan and I'm with Canine Companions for Independence and we provide service dogs for people with disabilities. We're very pleased to be establishing in a, a partnership with the San Francisco SPCA around the hearing dog program. Hearing dogs is one of our specialties. We have a very strong hearing dog program. Our dogs will alert a person who's deaf or hard of hearing to sounds in the house and in their environment. So uh, a phone ringing, a knock on the door, a child calling their mother's name. Yes, good girl. What? Yes, good girl. Hello. My name is Kara. And this here is Maya. We graduated from K9 Companions for Independence about a year and a half ago here at the Northwest region in Santa Rosa, California. We're originally from Washington, D.C., which, as you know, is a pretty big city. I'm a graduate student full time, and Maya's job is to alert me to important sounds that I can't hear. Those might include people calling my name, sirens, timers, alarms, someone knocking at the door, maybe my cell phone ringing or my pager going off. Sounds like that I can't hear. And she can alert me to those sounds at school or at home. In public, she also comes with me to tell me if there's people behind me or to alert me to cars passing us. And I, I rely on her and I watch her to tell me those important sounds. Good girl. Janet, what? We have a terrific love story of two people who were deaf who came to our campus here in Santa Rosa to attend our hearing dog class. And they were single when they came into the class and met each other in our class, uh, fell in love, and they now live in Long Beach, California with their hearing dogs. And they've done a fun thing in that for his dog, they trained the dog to his alarm clock, and for her dog, they trained the dog to her alarm clock, so that one dog is not waking up both of them or the other one uh, in the morning when they have to get up and go to work. One thing I love about my relationship with Maya is that she's not only a great worker, but she's an excellent friend. Sometimes it's difficult to talk to people, especially if they don't know sign language and they're not sure how to communicate. So one thing she does is to create a bridge between myself and other people. If they call my name or knock on my door or call me on the phone or pager, she'll let me know that they're talking to me. Another nice thing about Canine Companions for Independence is that they do great follow-up with graduates. Even though I'm on the opposite coast from the region where they train the hearing dog, there's always someone available to email with me, talk to me on the phone, or meet me in person to do follow-up. If I need help with behavior issues or if I just want to meet other people who have hearing dogs, and just continue educating and teaching and being an advocate for Canine Companion. There's always somebody available to help me do that. We have professional trainers that will customize the dogs, some of the sounds for you when you're in your home. Uh, we're really, really thrilled to be able to expand our service and help serve the people in San Francisco and California and Nevada that have been formerly served by the San Francisco SPCA. Mm -hmm.